in the heart of Madrid, a young star takes the stage, not with the ball at his feet, but with a heavy heart. Vinicius Jr., a beacon of brilliance on the pitch, faces a darker side of the game off it. As the cameras flash and the room falls silent, Vinicius recounts the battles he's faced, not against defenders, but against the cruel specter of racism. His voice trembles, not with fear, but with the weight of his words, as he shares the pain that has followed him in stadiums where cheers turn to jeers, tainted by prejudice. The Brazilian forward, who danced past opponents as Brazil claimed victory at Wembley, now stands still, his emotions laid bare for the world to see. The tears that fall are a testament to his strength, not his weakness, as he speaks of a sadness that lingers long after the crowds have gone. I just want to play football, he says, a simple wish from a player whose joy has lit up the beautiful game. To do everything for my club, for my family, he adds, his resolve unbroken despite the echoes of hate that have sought to silence his spirit. Vinicius looks to the legends who fought this fight before him, drawing inspiration from the great Muhammad Ali. Like Ali, Vinicius chooses to stand, to speak, to be the voice for those who share his struggle, for those who defend him, for Brazil. Despite the taunts, the vile abuse, Vinicius's love for Real Madrid remains unwavering. I will not give the racists what they want, he declares, his defiance echoing through the halls of the Bernabeu, his home away from home. The support of his president, his club, his fans, fuels his courage to remain firm, to remain strong. As Vinicius prepares to grace the pitch once more, his goals tell only half the story. 18 times he's found the net, but countless times he's risen above the hate, proving that the heart of a champion beats within him, undeterred, undefeated.